What is going on guys, Merc97 here, back again with another video. Today, we got some news. Now, it's not news that you think it is. Like, oh, we're going to have a return to the season January 1st. No, we don't have an update on that. We do have an update on everything that's going on. They released an article, the NHL has released an article talking about potential things going on with the NHL currently. And, you know, they're discussing things with the NHLPA, all that good stuff. And, you know, I thought I'd make a video here real quick, because I really, there was really nothing going on today until we came out with this. And, of course, that's 6 o'clock at night, so, you know, i got to make this and edit this quickly. Um, so, this is big. This is a big step to what's going to happen next season. And it's kind of looking like we're getting some recognitions to what happened in the past season, in the playoffs. So, it's a good sign. And we're just going to review everything here. So, they released a probably about, like, a few paragraphs article Discussing everything that's going on. Gary Bettman had an interview with a uh, sports station about everything that's going on with the NHL. So, um, we're going to review everything he said. So, starting off here with, um, you know, they have a potential start date for January 1st. Um, they said that this is a work in progress, influenced largely by what we're hearing from the medical experts. And we and we talked to some pretty high, highly faced, highly placed people. And sorry if I stutter because I want to get this video done and out there. So that's big. Um, it is a work in progress. We know it's going to get pushed back to probably the middle of January, maybe even early Fe maybe even early February. So we don't exactly know what's going to happen with that. Um, but they do have a plan for January 1st. And that means they got to get everything done with less than a month away. So um, get, get going, NHL. Um, the NHL Player Association would sign off on a training camp of an appropriate length, which would which might slightly shorter, which might be slightly shorter than during past seasons, and the teams will want to play. The teams will want to play one to two preseason games, which makes sense because now you want to get your guys out there, you want to get them out and just get them warmed up and ready to go because you're you're gonna have a few rookies coming into this season, and I'm sure those rookies are gonna have a rookie that they will never forget, and I'm sure no one will forget this, but um, I mean no one's ever gonna forget this, so you know they would sign up to a training camp of, of an appropriate length. Um, it, it, which may be slightly shorter for some teams. For the teams that didn't really have much of a return to play, they may get um may, they may get like um a much longer training camp, maybe like two or three more days. And then the teams who were in the playing rounds, you know, maybe even Tampa will get the least amount of time. You know, they'll get they'll probably get the same amount of days. It's not really gonna be fair. It'll take some teams a lot a lot a lot longer to get off to um get off to good starts if we have a season. But uh, you know. Um, so here's another thing that they announced, and this is good. This is this is one of the good things that they announced. Uh, the arena, the arenas can be full in 2021-22 if everything goes right. Now, if everything goes right regarding all that and everything going on with that, it's gonna it. That's good. That is good. You know, you got the vac You got maybe that maybe a potential vaccine going in. And really, in all honesty, if they actually get a vaccine going, you're not gonna have a choice. You're gonna have to get it. Um, I, I think that's one thing that people don't realize. I mean, the vaccines are kind of kind of a political thing in a way. I mean, the coronavirus kind of is political in some a, some aspects. Um, you know, it's it's gonna be interesting. So we're gonna look at this here, and uh, you know, there we're gonna have Seattle coming in there. Um, they're they're discussing um, hybrid and actual NHL arenas. They're discussing like short term and long term situations. And um, Bettman has not asked the NHLPA to renegotiate with everything else going on. So that is a uh, another big thing there. So, you know, take that what you will. Um, with everything going on here, this looks pretty good. I will put the article in the link description below so you can read it for yourself. Uh, I will have other things in there as well. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoy, please go make sure to leave a like and the subscribe button. And we are trying to get to 600 subs by the end of the year. Thank you all for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video.